Hello! Now, Beastall very kindly sent me this with a lot of other stuff that I showed br very briefly in a previous video, but this is a Polish MP4B gas mask, which is the Polish M17 clone that actually has a drinking tube on it, but it's kind of a unique drinking tube system, because it's the one Poland came up with uh, back, I guess, in the 80s or early 90s, and then they decided that when they went to the MP5 mask that they were going to copy that same system onto it. So here's the mask, and you'll be able to see at the bottom there's the drinking tube bit in there. So I'm going to get this out of its bag in a moment. Now, I'll probably demonstrate the drinking tube system first, but if I can't get that to, um, or I was saying the drinking tube should work fine, but say if I can get that bit to work fine, then I'll try putting the cheek filters in, because otherwise I'm just going to get frustrated trying to put the cheek filters in, because it's a cheek filter mask. Um, you know, so we'll do the cheek filters second. Um, but just to show you, so in the bag there's the mask, that's the mask, that's all on the floor, uh, obviously foil wrapped cheek filters, whether or not these still work I don't know, we'll find out if we um, do it, uh, outserts, probably won't bother putting those on, but I think these are just to give a bit of extra protection to the lenses, if you're using it for airsoft or something like that, these would be invaluable, um, there's some anti-dim paste right at the bottom, and here is the... Uh, filter covers like the M17 filter covers that snap on um, and they've got like a very basic particulate layer there so what these actually do yes that's kind of interesting one looks a bit different than the other one uh, but what these actually do is these act as a basic particle layer and obviously they block the particles there now I assume that is probably just cotton not asbestos weave but you know I always get a bit paranoid of anything that was from the Warsaw Pact period but yeah, I'm pretty sure certain these are absolutely fine. Uh, anyway, so obviously what I'm going to be doing first is getting the mask out. Uh, if there's any talc or anything inside it like that, clearing that out. Uh, this is quite a nice bag. It's like my other MP4's bag, but it's actually made with that kind of waterproof material on it rather than just being cloth. So that's quite a nice bag actually. So supposedly these are quite rare because they were kind of uh, mid sort of series mask, if I don't know if that's the right term for it. But basically, Poland had the MP4 along with the um, OM-14 or the SHM-41 variant, that they called it, and the MUA in service for quite a while, and then they went to the MP5 mask. But basically, before they had the MP5, they wanted a, you know, a mask with a drinking tube on, so they basically made the MP4s sort of a drinking tube system. So the issue was, obviously, that... Um, they didn't make many of these because I guess they quickly realised they wanted a mask that took 40 millimeter filters or something like that. So I've heard things that people say that only about 200 to 300 of these were made. So if so, that's a very rare mask. Um, Beastor has them for sale, I think, still on his eBay page. So if you're interested, you can get them from there. Um, so as I said, I'll put a link below for his thing, uh, eBay page. However, um, like I said, it may be a lot more than made of that. Um, but yeah. They're quite interesting anyway, so let's get it out of the bag. Okay, so there's some Polish instructions that I'm not going to be able to read for you. Um, but, you know, old paper, that's quite interesting. I definitely always keep these when I get them the mask. But let's have an unfold of it and see what it says. So there's a diagram actually on one side of this, uh, so this one says that. Instruction or something, so that's the instructions. Maski Uh So obviously I'm not going to be able to read this, but I'm guessing that says mask protection or something like that, MP4. So yeah, I know obviously it's the MP4. There was a diaphragm, uh, not diaphragm, diagram on this side, so there you go, diagram of the inside. Alright, let's chuck that bag down there. Right, there's a canteen in here, exactly the same canteen as with the MP5 respirator. So, how this would work then, is you've got your bit at the bottom there. So we'd unscrew that. And you'd be able to connect the hose to it, or whatever. But I wonder if this lets you just simply screw the bottle directly on. Ah, I think it does. Okay, so that's easier, so I think... Ah, oh, no, you don't. Ah, you do connect it with a tube. Right, I'll have to sort that out then. So anyway, uh, I'll just cut the video here while I wipe any talc off of the inside of the mask and anything like that. As I said, I'm not going to put the cheek filters in straight away. We're going to test the drinking tube system first, but I'll get my pipe from my um, other 
Polish Gas Mask, the MP5, and then I'll be able to um, connect all this up. So bear with me a moment, and when we cut back, everything should be sorted and ready. Okay, so it turns out that you do actually, in the side pocket of the uh, MP4B's bag, get the drinking tube. It's actually a slightly different connector on this one, so I might try this with an Israeli mask afterwards. So I won't be using this tube from the uh, MP5 today, because that's got like the kind of bayonet sort of thing on the end that you stab through. The MP4 has like a screw-on thing, MP4B. So let's get all this open, the elastic band. Right. right. Here we go. Okay, so exactly the same by the look of it as the other one, except for it doesn't have like the spike bit there. It has um, the screw on connector. So let's open this up. So yeah, it opens up. I think then it's the same connector at both ends. Right, so... If so, I think this will actually work with my Israeli mask. So let's put this here. So that end screws onto the bottom, I imagine. This end will screw onto the mask. Tell you what, I'll get the... Um, mask on, then I'll see if I can manage to connect it with the mask on. Right, I've wiped the talc out, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Let me uh, put the straps on this way and tighten them, I think. It'll be a bit easier. Okay, right, that seems to be on my face. Hopefully it's a good fit, good enough fit. Right, just tighten those straps up. I'm not going to do it massively tight because I'm not exactly testing the effectiveness in the mask here because there's no filters in it. I want to put that anti-dim paste on, I guess, at some point. Right, okay, so now am I able to use the camera's viewfinder or just going by instinct to line this up and tighten it? The rubber smell of this is actually quite nice. It reminds me of the smell a lot of sports shops have. Okay, that's connected. There's a drinking tube. Right, okay, here we go. That works absolutely fine. And you know what the funny thing is, compared to a lot more modern masks, the drinking tube doesn't get in the way of your face. Uh, it's like the Israeli ones are meant to work. You manipulate it into your face there. You also notice being at the bottom there, it's not going to get in the way of a rifle sight like lots of drinking tubes do. So yeah, you manipulate it in and out of your mouth by doing that. Alright, let me just demonstrate that with the mask off. So just loosen that. Straps seem to work fine on this mask, which is nice. But yeah, I ought to probably smear some anti-fogging paste on the inside of this. Yeah, is that coming undone? Never mind, I'll just do that. Right, so... This is probably not going to be the easiest thing to show on camera. But, yeah, it's definitely not going to be the easiest thing to show on camera. Right, if I do this... There we go. Maybe. Right, let me show you. Maybe you'll be able to see that the drinking tube wiggles around. Do, 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 do. Yep, so by manipulating this you can move the drinking tube. And by obviously moving the drinking tube around, um, you can drink and it doesn't get in the way of your face. This is why I like the designs like the M17's drinking tube, although that has a lever. Um, but it's because it actually sits you know, further in front of your face, then when you move it forwards it goes in. Um, this particular mask was either made in 95 or 91. Um, if that interests you. So, after the fall of communism by the look of it, and it's a size 1 I guess, which seems to fit me alright. Um, so, there we go. That works as a drinking tube. Now, before I attempt to put the filters and get angry, we'll do that at the last bit of the video. Let's see if this drinking tube works on Israeli masks, because that's going to really interest me if it does. If it does, I now have um, a working drinking system for my Israeli masks. Right, let's test this with the M15. Here goes nothing. Right. 
So, on the Israeli master drinking tube connectors here. I hope this works. Let's see, is that screwing on there? don't think that is, but let me just have a quick <coughs> test of the mask off. Annoyingly, it seems, despite looking identical, it doesn't screw onto that one. Just out of interest, I'll try it on the 4A1, just in case that has a slightly different adapter. I doubt it will, but we might as well check it while we've got it out. Right, now, this is the weird thing. It seems that you can connect the um, drinking tube system from the MP4B to the Israeli civilian mask, the 4A1, but not the military mask, the M15, even though it looks like they have the same connector. Okay, so let's see if this actually works then, because that's going to be the more interesting bit. Will this actually do its job and work? Putting that on in the worst way possible. Right. Here goes nothing. Right, so let's manipulate that into my mouth. There we go. Then do this. It works! It actually works! So what's really fascinating to me is that the MP4B uses the exact same drinking tube system uh, either coincidentally or it was copied from the Israeli civilian masks. So that's interesting. I'm actually quite pleased I can use my Israeli mask of a drinking tube system. But what I find even more amazing is this is the best drinking tube I've seen on a mask. Because it connects at the bottom, where it's not going to be in the way if you're aiming a rifle or something like that. And you just manipulate the straw into your mouth from the front, using the, that bit, just by wiggling it. Um, and then you get it back out, so the straw doesn't poke you in the face when you don't want to use it. And the drinking tube system works absolutely fine. So... Well done, Poland. It's just kind of a shame that the MP5 has a kind of inferior drinking tube system to this. You think if they got it right with this one, uh, they just keep this same thing at the bottom of the MP5, they'd have put one of those. But I go, suppose the MP5's made under license and it's a copy of a French mask, so it's actually the French that didn't design a good drinking tube system. So, there we go. Um, now, what I'm going to try and do now is the bit you're going to enjoy. I'm going to hate, it's going to be let's try and shove the filters into this mask. Now, if they don't go e in easily, I'm not going to do it just because I don't want to damage this mask if there's only, you know, 200 300 of these really available, I don't know. Um, but let's give it a go. Right, I bought a new open owl the other day, so I'll show you that as well at the same time. It's an open owl number 7, I think, which is actually an 8cm blade to be confusing. Slightly too long to legal carry in the UK, and it's got a locking collar. Um, you could probably very easily use it as an excuse though if you're actually doing some sort of bushcraft thing with it. Um, however, you know, it depends totally what you're up to, reasonable excuse and all stuff like that. Now I don't know if this bag just simply rips open or if I have to cut this bag open. I will cut open because I've got the knife out so I don't want to punch the filters, so get it there. Go, nearly slicing my hand open actually on the foil. One cheek filter. Two cheek filters. Oh no, it's getting to the stage now where I actually have to put the cheek filters in the mask. Oh no. Right, hopefully I'll manage to stay in frame for this entire procedure. I'm going to try and keep it on the MTP trousers or shirt, whichever one that is, to um, keep it in frame. So like, let's stretch the harness back over here to open up as much of the mask as possible. Um, so what we're going to do now is try and get into this bit. So I'm going to have to take the this bit off the popper button. That one came off easily. Let's try the other one. We might as well do them both at once. And the filter bits are sealed as well. You think if you were getting the mask to put all the stuff in, they'd have, um, you know, made it so, ah, here's the talc that I was looking for. Look at all that talc. Yay. Right. You'd have thought, wouldn't you, that if this was the um, section the filters were, well, uh, you know, all the mask would be this talky, but no, they just reserved it for the filter section for some reason. Okay. Again, not enough pairs of hands. 
Right, let's match up which filter goes in this one from the outside. I think it's going to be this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be that one. Okay, yeah. Right, let's see if I can get him in. So, when people have asked me how do you change cheek filters uh, with great difficulty is the question. There's not an easy way of doing it. Depends on how supple the individual mask is. You um, trying to shove that filter in there. Maybe a lot of lube would be helpful, I'm not too sure. If this wasn't supposedly such a rare mask, this is where I just quite happily get my knife and cut a bigger pouch of the cheek if it was to go in. But, go on, go in, go in. Working up quite sweat. Shouldn't be wearing a warm jacket. That's almost into that bit. And I just need to get the filter more into the actual pocket. if that's quite in right. Let's see if I can snap the cover on for it and um, if that will go in. Now where did I put my little metal piss covers? They still in the thing? Oh, here they are. Right. Here goes nothing. I suppose that's going to have to stretch this bit around here, so... Maybe? It's probably not meant to stretch that way, is it? Oh, I think that's snapped right on now, okay. Right, I think that cheek filter's roughly in the pocket. I'm not going to try and do the pocket up now. I'm not going to do the other one on camera. You've seen me struggle with one. Let's see if I can get the other one in. It is accomplished. I've managed to get the outserts on. I've managed to get both the cheek filters in it, all buttoned up inside, and the covers on. That was actually easier than most cheek filters masks. My fingers are still really sore, but um, now for the test. Now, I've probably got talc everywhere, so that's not going to be great, but... I won't do a full air freshener type test today. Now I'm going to need to give the lenses a wipe out on the inside as well. Because they've sort of talked up. But let's see if these old filters still work. Right. Is that airtight? seems to be. I mean, it's not an easy way to test it with cheek filter now. Yeah, I can't smell the banana oil, so for all intents and purposes this mask is working at the moment. Not that I'd really recommend cheap filter masks, because you can't easily change the filter at all. It's much easier just to do that with a 40mm filter, isn't it? However, yes, the MP4B does seem to work, as I said. Amazing drinking tube on this thing, the best on any mask I've ever seen, uh, weirdly. And the rubber was supple enough, at least when I was putting it together it wasn't too much of a pain to actually get the filters in just a bit of a pain but there you go mp4b is actually very good if you want one b stores link will be in the video description below overall i'm very impressed with this